Good morning. It's early morning in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I'm going to give you a quick demo of the newly redesigned channel scan page on the Zapper box. But before we do that, I wanted to mention a couple of things. There is now a new search feature that I would recommend you check it out. Currently, the functionality is uh, relatively limited because of the limited uh, free guide data, uh, which is available off air. But as uh, extended guide data and DVR functionality becomes available on the Zapper box, uh, you should see more advanced features uh, of the search. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Another thing I wanted to mention is you can now go to YouTube from the main menu. Uh, again, if you haven't checked it out, I would recommend you do so. You go in here, search for your favorite clips. You can see there are quite a few Zapperbox video clips posted by Zapperbox owner and owners in different cities. Again, you, know, you might want to check that out. So let's go back to Zapperbox Watch TV page. As I said, today we're going to talk about the channel scan. So let's do a full channel scan. As you can see, the channel scan has been completely redesigned. Uh, the results for the entire spectrum are now displayed on a single page. Uh, you can see the RFIDs in the left column, starting from RF channel 2 all the way to the lower right corner, RF channel 36. The signal strength is uh, listed in the second column in DBM. And the signal to noise ratio is in the third column. Typically, I don't pay much attention to the signal strength is the SNR or the signal to noise ratio that uh, determines the signal quality uh, for most part. Typically, if the SNR is in the 15 dB or higher range, uh, I would not expect to see any macro blocking on the channel that I'm watching. But if the SNR goes below 15, somewhere around 12, 13, uh, then you may see occasional macro blocking. And uh, anything lower than that, then uh, the channel may not be uh, watchable. As you can see, the channels that are found for each RF channel are listed on that row. For example, for the RF channel 7, we have PBS stations A-1, A-2, A-3, and A-4, a total of four channels. Uh, on RF channel 10, we have the NBC stations 11-1, 11-3, 4, 5, and 11-7. We also have the each station 17-2. On the top of the page, you can see the title saying that this is a full channel scan. Uh, the total channel count found so far is also listed on the top of the page. And currently it's at 68 channels. Now in Atlanta, all the next-gen TV stations are on a single RF channel 31. Uh, depending on where you live, you may have more than one next-gen TV RF channel. But in Atlanta, everything is on a single RF channel 31, which is being uh, scanned currently. And you can see the rainbow next-gen TV icon indicates that RF channel 31 is the next gen TV and uh, there are five channels in Atlanta. 2-1 is ABC, 5-1 is Fox, 11-1 is NBC, 17 is the Peach Station, local station, and 46-1 is CBS. So channel scan is complete. We found a total of 106 channels. 
let's say OK to continue. We're back in uh, watch TV mode. A couple of things I wanted to mention. As you can see, this is a CBS station, the HD version of the CBS station, as indicated by the white uh, signal icon on the left. And the video resolution is 1080i. This is an interlaced uh, HD channel. Now, if I go to the same station, broadcast in next gen TV, you can see the signal icon changed to the next gen TV rainbow color. And the video resolution is 1080p compared to the 1080i, which was on the regular HD channel. So even though this is a next-gen TV station, currently the broadcasters are only broadcasting in 1080p. Uh, of course, it, this uh, Zappa box still upscales uh, the 1080p to 4K if you're connected to a 4K TV. But currently, the broadcasters are still broadcasting in 1080p, probably because they have not upgraded their equipment to produce 4K content or the 4K content that may not be readily available. But as the broadcasters upgrade their equipment and 4K content becomes more readily available, I would expect to see more and more 4K uh, content uh, on the 4K next-gen TV stations. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, put it in the comment section. I would love to hear back from you. As always, thank you for watching.